Hi everyone. I'm Dr. M. Venkatesh, consultant radiologist. Welcome to my channel, Shades of Radiology. Today I'm going to discuss an interesting musculoskeletal case. We got a 30 year old male patient who had chronic knee pain and the clinician was advised MR knee joint for further evaluation. So here we are going to see the images. This is a mid sagittal T2 weighted image at the level of ACL. You can see thickening of ACL, multiple small cystic areas along the posterior aspect of anterior cruciate ligament and there was a minimal fluid within the petalofemoral joint space and suprapetalar recess. Coming to PD fat site image, you can clearly appreciate the ACL fibers which are splitted up and slightly separated by hyperintense thin strip of fluid in between the ACL fibers with a lobulated cystic lesion along the posterior aspect of anterior cruciate ligament. And these are the coronal T2 weighted image again showing a similar cystic structure at the site of attachment of ACL along the medial aspect of lateral femoral condyle and you can, here you can see the PCL which is normal there is no abnormal signal in this and you can see the menisci which are completely normal and this is the sagittal, mid sagittal T1 weighted image what we are observing here is the grossly enlarged or thickened anterior cruciate ligament and compare the signal of anterior cruciate ligament with the posterior cruciate ligament here as well as the patellar tendon the signal is slightly increased so the ACL is thickened and there is a slight increase in the signal of anterior cruciate ligament so based on these features thickened ACL normal posterior cruciate ligament presence of cystic areas along the posterior aspect of anterior cruciate ligament with normal menisci all these features are suggestive of ganglion cyst with mucoid degeneration so what are the salient features? It can mimic an interstitial partial tear of anterior cruciate ligament and all the secondary signs of ACL injury are absent here. So we have not seen any bony contusions, no meniscal tears, uh, no buckling of PCL and usually this condition is easily detected on 3 Tesla MR examinations than on 1.5 Tesla MR examinations and the main feature here what we have seen is the thickened ligament with as giving a celery stack appearance which is slightly ill-defined in between and signal is increased on all sequences and we should be able to appreciate the intact fibers on T2 weighted image which rules out the tear or a chronic tear or an acute tear of anterior cruciate ligament and coming to arthroscopy usually the ligament appears normal if you go through the anterior approach when you go through the posterior approach on probing the ligament, mucoid material can be expressed, which is the only feature which is described on arthroscopy, which will suggest mucoid degeneration of ACL. So, what are the features here which we have seen is thickened anterior cruciate ligament, increased T1 signal intensity, and intact fibers in all the sequences with normal PCL and menisci, no bone contusions. All these features were suggestive of mucoid degeneration of ACL and there was a cystic structure posterior to the mucoid degeneration of ACL along with, which is suggestive of ganglion cyst and this ganglion cyst is seen associated with the mucoid degeneration of ACL and thank you everyone for watching this you can discuss this case with your friends, seniors and juniors thank you